Never before has gambling been so heavily promoted and accessible, especially through sport. This makes it feel like a normal part of the game and harder for students to recognise the potential harm. We want students to love the game, not the odds. The School Education Program is here to support you, to help your students develop healthy and informed attitudes to gambling as they approach adulthood. This instruction video and the unit it explains forms part of a wider suite of resources and tools to assist you and your school tackle this important wellbeing issue. This video supports the Love the Game unit of work which can be downloaded from our website. It's really flexible. You can deliver it as one discrete unit or pick and modify tasks to suit your students' needs. For optimal results, we'd suggest sticking with the recommended terminology and learning outcomes. The primary learning intention of this unit is to understand how gambling is being increasingly normalised through sport, which makes it harder to recognise the risks involved. The tasks and rubrics included enable students to meet competencies from the VCAL literacy skills, oral communication strand at intermediate and senior level. Students will have the opportunity to provide evidence of completing these competencies to the agreed standard. This unit of work was engaging for the students. It's all linked directly to the VCAL outcomes and basically it's all just at your fingertips. It's a one-stop shop and very easy for, for teachers to pick up and run with it. The appendix contains a list of definitions you should familiarise yourself with before commencing. This unit includes online research, so before you start, make sure students have internet access. Like any potentially sensitive topic, we'd recommend you and your class set some ground rules together to promote a safe learning space, covering things like how to fairly and respectfully participate in class discussions, what's appropriate to disclose in the classroom, and what students can do if they feel uncomfortable. When discussing gambling with students, be mindful not to give the impression that betting underage is normal. The tuning in section of the learning sequence should take around 30 minutes. Start by activating your students' prior knowledge about types of gambling, the risks involved and where they see advertising. The activities suggested on page 8 are just examples. You might have an alternate activity in mind. When discussing types of gambling, try to avoid mentioning specific brand names, as this may inadvertently promote the company in question. Instead, think about different categories, like sports betting, lotteries and pokies. When broaching the concept of risk, be mindful that often students are of the opinion they won't run into serious trouble. Try to focus on short-term harms, such as being unable to purchase items they want. This will help students recognise the trade-off between spending money on gambling and being able to afford the things they value, such as having the means to go out with mates or the latest smartphone. While teaching this unit, try to replace the term gambling with betting, as students tend to relate to this better. Explain to students that these two terms can be used interchangeably. The next section of the learning sequence should take around an hour. Here, students will consider how gambling is changing the way we see sport, making it feel normal and harder to recognise the risks involved. Start this section by discussing how often students see or hear betting advertising. Remember to try and avoid mentioning specific brands and just focus on the amount of advertising and where it appears. There's an interesting statistic on page 8 that can help prompt a class discussion. Divide the class into groups and ask students to consider the list of questions included in Appendix 2. After some brainstorming, groups should reconvene and hold an all-class discussion. This section will also take around an hour. Here, students will investigate the Foundation's Sporting Club program, which works towards separating gambling from sport. Once students have individually researched the Sporting Club program, steer a class discussion about the program's purpose using the questions featured on page 9. Students can complete this next section in groups or individually. Ask them to develop a pitch for the program designed to convince a local sporting club to sign up. This may take a couple of hours depending on your students' needs and the time you have available. Use the handout in Appendix 3 to explain the task to students. Time permitting, there is an extension activity where students can write the full script for their pitch, including a catchy introduction and conclusion that revisits the key facts. You can find an assessment matrix in the appendix. This is based on a self-assessment model. We'd encourage you and your students to refer to this document through the learning journey as a feedback guide and then together at the end. It may be adapted to include peer assessment too.
That concludes our instruction video for this unit. If, while completing this, you become concerned that gambling may be an issue for one of your students or their family and friends, you can refer them to our free and confidential Gamblers Health Youthline support service. They can call 1800 262 376 or visit gamblershelp.com.au forward slash youthline. You can also contact this service for advice and support. We'd encourage you to let your school's wellbeing staff know that you're undertaking this unit and be aware of who to inform if you become concerned. For more information, visit our Love the Game website.